kicking off. Harry and Meghan are in the headlines again after it's been reported they've still not responded to King Charles's coronation invite. <laughs> Well, that's what the papers claim, anyway. Uh, we know one person who definitely isn't going, that's the Duchess of York, who was with you yesterday, Jane, uh, wasn't she? Great interview, by the way, I hear, because it's all over Australian telly, isn't it? Yeah, apparently. Our mate who's yeah. in Australia texted and said, oh, it's... Jane, you're all over Australia. Which tells you they still like royal stuff out there, don't Darling, they? Darling, you're international. Oh, yeah. love. Well, that's I'm in... down under. <laughs> <laughs> well, now to introduce you as internationally renowned, <laughs> Jane Moore. Uh, well, with exactly a month to go, it did get us thinking, is it rude to not immediately RSVP to an invite, Nat? Well, yes, it is, <laughs> it is, and especially to something really big, like a wedding. But, but I... I'm one of those people that thinks I've often replied when I haven't. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll see an email and I'll go, oh, yes, I'll go to that. And in my head, I've actually said yes. Or I, or I read a WhatsApp or message on the go and I've sort of parked it. But also, do you think sometimes when people don't RSVP, there's some sort of low self-esteem thing? Like, they wouldn't, the person wouldn't really mind if they were there or not. Oh, please. <laughs> not me! <laughs> not me! Honestly, right, it's very simple. You get an invitation, here it is, you go, oh, June the 2nd, hang on, diary, be it electronic or paper, am I free on June the 2nd? Yes, I am. I would love to come, thank you very much. No, because yes. I would, How hard I would, is it? I would <laughs> put the invite somewhere else and say, I'll do that well, later. Don't. No, but I no, get but, it, I get it. But you don't yeah. always know, you don't... don't so I look at it like you, it, you know, uh, I've moved the pile to there and think I've dealt with it, then I just yeah. move it to there and still haven't dealt with it. <laughs> but I look at the invitation and think, ah, June the 2nd, I'm not quite sure because this might happen and that might happen. And then, again, like you, I think I've done it and then it's gone to the bottom of the pile and I still haven't done it. But it is very rude. But what might happen not to get if you said yes to one thing, then if something else happens, you say, sorry, I can't make it. No, but that another wedding might yes come in with people I like more. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah, there wow. it is. Keeping your options oh, open. We've got to the nub of the matter. <laughs> you know what, mine's, mine's not even that. It's just, I think, a bit like, like Nadia. I see it, and I'm like, yeah, I must reply to that later. And then life and work and everything gets in the way, and then yeah. I find, like, two months later, I still haven't replied. You I all have it. It is right, because it's... <laughs> it, I do think, I do all think of Jane you. is the only one here that's right. I think it's impeccable manners. My mum is like that. There is no way that something wouldn't be answered. And I do aspire to that. Just tell I'm people. Trying. No, no, it's but so it's rude. almost like you're putting off. No, but it's so rude because, say, I mean, I'm not talking if it's, you know, like a massive party, then nobody cares whether we're there or not, but somebody's wedding or somebody's christening or whatever, rude. That they'll have a set number of people yeah. that they're paying for, and then you get these people who... Don't reply, don't reply, don't reply. And then the day before, they say they can't come. And then you're in that awkward position of, like, well, I'd like to invite Auntie Jean, but now I've got to fess up and say, well, sorry, you Which, weren't on the first yeah. list. Because, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. And that's a bit much. If you are the inviter, it is so frustrating yeah. if people don't don't get back to you. So I do think... But you don't all... care when you're the invitee. But the whole, <laughs> no. the whole idea of making sure you are SVP is still, I feel like, something very new to me. Because I've grown up mm. in, a, in a culture where you'd have weddings and christenings and funerals and no-one bothered RSVPing. So you sort of... If you turned up, you turned up. If you didn't, you didn't. If you want to bring a mate who's never met the bride and groom, you're absolutely allowed to do oh, that. can you? Yeah, because you sort of have, like, a big kind of Caribbean do where you always, you always order more more food than the guests you've got coming. So you just go and in. eat at the expense of someone you've never met? Do you know, do you know the number of weddings where I've done exactly that? <laughs> where not I've met never the met the bride and groom and that night have probably also never met the bride and groom because a friend's just gone, I've got this great reception to cut to go to. You should come with me. And you go, all right. But so like the essence up. is the more the merrier it's yeah. a party. And yeah. it's a DJ, it's food, it's an open bar. And so I've kind of grown up in an environment where I think probably uh, we're the first generation to ever have the concept of RSVP yeah. mm. because it's a lot more expensive. Every canopy, 12 quid, you know, yeah. do you want this chair for £25, do you want this chair for that? All that formality and expense is just huge, yeah. isn't it? And, like, it really... For... So, 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 you know, that's why it is, it is best. Well, and you know what? We've done, a, we've done before. a poll and you're not going to be happy, Jane. Oh. oh. Is it rude to not RSVP immediately? No. 
59%. Oh, I'm quite surprised on that. Yes, 41%. You know? Oh, Jane's like, no. No, no. I want to be more like Jane, but I've been trying for 20 years. I can't do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we all try to be more like Jane. It doesn't happen, does it?